Good evening, everybody. Happy full moon to everybody. Um, want to apologize for my rant this morning. Uh, it's just I have so much going on my plate that I had to go on a little rant. Um, because it's very hard to have senior citizen and children acclimate to new surroundings, not to mention the four cats I transported 658 miles. So um, I apologize for not getting a forecast to you sooner than this. I have no computer set up. So we're going, to, I'm going to give you your full moon forecast for the next two weeks. Um, when I say I'm taking this Nostradamus style, I'm literally doing this Nostradamus style because I do not have my software available to check things, but I have been doing this long enough to be able to give you a forecast right off the top of my head. So I know I look like crap today. I've been moving all day and I've been unhaul unloading a, a U-Haul U-Tub, so um, bear with me. I'm not the prettiest of sights today, but I did want to get on here quickly. Go over your two-week forecast. Now, we do have a full moon in Aries this evening, October 1st, 2020. It goes into effect at 5.06 p.m. Eastern Daylight Time, and so we are in it. Um, anytime we're dealing with Aries full moons, remember Aries is, the ruling planet is Mars, Lord of War. Um, this takes on a very uh, aggressive, angry energy. Let's not forget um, Mars is in retrograde in Aries. So this is, hello, Rihanna. Rihanna? I don't have my glasses on. I hope I'm pronouncing your name correctly. <laughs> but Mars is in retrograde. And when Mars goes retrograde, I mean, the planet itself is already the planet of war. It's the planet of violence, aggression. But it, on the positive, it is the planet of action. But since it's retrograde, we are all a little more short-fused than usual. And I don't know if anyone's noticed this. Hi, Cynthia. We're all a little more short-fused than usual. Even myself. You know, after my rant this morning <laughs> on my page... I ended up screaming at my family as well. So I, as your astrologer, I'm victim. I'm a victim to these stars as well. I ended up coming back out of my room and apologizing to everybody. And I finally realized, oh, my God, it is a full moon <laughs> in Aries. So we're not going to have as much tact. We're not going to have as much discipline. We will go off on people quicker than we usually do. Um... It's just the way the stars are right now. And I please, I apologize for the mess in the background. There's boxes everywhere. But full moon in Aries will create this energy. It's also going to bring disturbing news with war and violence, um, which is a normal thing for the United States right now. But um, you'll see it globally. Just watch the news in the next few days and you'll be able to see uh, what I mean by that. All right, this is also called the Harvest Moon for all of my pagan folk. Hi, Kathy. How are you, love? Um, so let's get right to it, okay? Now, like I said, this is not going to be one of my better forecasts because I'm literally doing this at the top of my head. No software. I'm going strictly by a moon book. I'm using books. To do the forecast this time. I don't usually. I usually run it through my software, but I'm using those two books to bring this to you this evening. So this won't be one of my better broadcasts and forecasts, but it's what I can offer you for now. So let's start with Aries because obviously this is your moon, Aries, and um, this full moon is right on you plus your own planet is retrograde so you need to watch yourself watch your temper watch your words watch your actions because change is very much needed for Aries in all aspects of your life right now okay um, how do I say this 
uh, I am doing better. If you you missed the first part of my broadcast where I apologized, <laughs> I'm just having a bad day. But um, Aries, you're gonna have to watch yourself because you're you're gonna be at the wrong place at the wrong time. You're gonna go off on the wrong person, and you could lose your life. So. Um, I know out of all the zodiac signs, it's the hardest for Aries to have to, a lot of discipline. Um, but you're really going to have to practice some discipline and even some, you know, as the French say, savez faire. Taurus. Um, this energy is going to affect your subconscious. It's cruising your 12th house right now. So you need to let go of the guilt, but you also need to let go of anger and forgive. Um, how do I put this? Don't assume things until you get the facts. It's very easy to assume, even for myself. Um, the last couple of days I've been assuming things and I've gotten it wrong. Um, so don't assume anything. Um, and also with Taurus, because this is affecting your subconscious, try not to feed into any kind of negative fear or negative talk at this time. Um, it'll only make things worse. Gemini. Now, Gemini, this energy is cruising your 11th house. This is the house of friends and wishes. And um, a friend's going to stab you in the back in the next couple of weeks um, or betray you in some way. I don't know how else to say it. I, don't, I can't min mince words with that one right now. Um, wishes will not be granted at this time. This is going to be a very difficult two weeks, not just for Gemini, but for the whole Zodiac. Um, I'll talk a little bit more about that in a minute. So Gemini, just be careful. Friends aren't going to be there for you, and um, it will get better in two weeks when the new moon comes around. Like I said, this is going to be difficult on all of us. I hope the TV's not too loud. My mother's watching the news, so. Cancer. Career takes a sidestep for you right now. This is cruising your 10th house, so um, things might not be going your way. You may have applied for some jobs that you're not getting. Just know that this energy will pass within two weeks, and things will get better. What else can I say about this? Be patient. Um, your actions are being watched. So, Cancer, you need to behave in public. Um, you're, you're being watched, and your actions will um, bring consequences. So, in public, be calm, cool, and collective. Behind closed doors, you could scream and throw pillows and do whatever the heck you want. Um, just don't do it in public, because you never know who's watching. Now, Leo, 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 where, where was Leo? Right now, Leo, this energy is cruising your ninth house. This is the house of higher learning, traveling, foreigners, foreign lands, and you may have issues right now with foreigners. Um, also, there, this calls for no traveling, especially domestic, or I mean, especially foreign. Oh, my mind is fried today. Foreign, no traveling foreign, stick to domestic traveling, and um, what else did I put here? You may have to change travel plans and rearrange some things. That's very common with this energy. This also creates changes within education. You may have to postpone a class you want to take, and if there are any foreigners in your life, they are going to drive you nuts. <laughs> I don't know what else to say. Sorry, Leo. <laughs> All right, Virgo. Now, Virgo, this energy is cruising your eighth house. This is the house of life, death, um, sexual, sexuality, uh, joint finances, taxes, inheritance, transformation. And you could hear of news of a death or a legacy. This could be a possible inheritance coming um, and you may have to use your you and your partner or someone else in your life. You may have to combine your finances together to um, get by for this month. 
Unfortunately, my forecast isn't all that positive this time because of the nature of this full moon. So, um, I'm sorry. Libra. All right, Libra. Now, this energy is cruising your seventh house. This is the house of marriage, partnership, and contracts. Now, changes or issues might come up not either in your domestic life or in your business partnership. Um, I know a lot of Libras who have a great marriage, and they're fine. It might be something with business or a business partner or a business associate, but there's changes coming in that area. Um, and please do not sign any contracts for the next two weeks. They are not blessed under the stars to sign contracts. So please don't do that. Wait till the new moon, which is the new moon is Friday, October 16th. We actually have um, three moons in this month. The last one on a Halloween is a blue moon. So hang in there, Libra. Scorpio, it's Scorpio. It is time for you to get a checkup. Okay, I I know that there's been a lot of stress with Scorpio, so don't let that stress make you ill. This can also mean change in employment, um, leaving or quitting a job and finding a new one. Um, it's not healthy to stay employed in a job that makes you healthy because as the saying goes, you're, if you don't have your health, what do you have, right? The health is the most important thing in my opinion. If you don't have that, nothing else matters in my opinion. So please take care of yourself, Scorpio. Get your checkups. It doesn't mean anything bad is happening to Scorpio. It's just a good time to get a checkup. It's nothing, you know, malevolent, but, you know, you may have some high cholesterol or, you know, something like that. It's just time to take care of you, Scorpio. Self-care, honey. All right, Sagittarius. Now, Sagittarius, this energy is cruising your fifth house. This is the house of love, romance, children, creativity. And there is going to be issues in that realm, issues with romance and love. And if, if you're in a relationship, it could represent a breakup. It also can represent, chill. it represents children, fifth house. So children will also bring some added stress into your life as well. Um, and like I said, with this full moon in Aries, each and every one of us is short fused. Even the most docile of signs, you know, um, are short fused. So if that happens, bless you. <laughs> if that happens, you know, um, step away, take some deep breaths. You know, you can't control everybody, but you got to control yourself. So just remember that Sagittarius. Capricorn. Now, Capricorn, this energy is going into your fourth house. This is the house of home, family, um, emotions. So you need to be aware of fire, okay? After all, we're in a full moon in Aries. Fire. Look at what's happening in California. I've been kind of out of the loop with, with news the last few days. And I just saw something last night about Santa Rosa. I guess Santa Rosa is on fire now. If you go back to my January, uh, God, January, it was either the 1st or the 10th on YouTube, go 11 minutes in, and I was actually in tears talking about what I foresaw for California, and it's happening. Stars don't lie. Capricorn, just be safe. Um, calm your temper. And I, I actually, when I was writing this, I was thinking of myself because I'm Capricorn. And uh, calm your temper, especially within the family household, because the more angry you get, the more emotional everyone around you gets. So, and beware of fire, Capricorn. The next two weeks will be trying, but it will get better. I mean, if there's any sign in the Zodiac, um, pardon my French, that has been getting its ass kicked for the last two, three years, it's Capricorn. Cancer's following right behind, but um, Capricorn has had it rough the last few years, and now that it is October 1st, times are a-changing for my fellow goats, so hang in there, Cappy. 
Aquarius. Now, Aquarius, this is ruling your third house. This is the house of communication, transportation, um, siblings. Um, you might get some sad news in the mail, either via the mail, internet, phone call. Your siblings might try and get in touch with you, and it probably won't be positive news. Your husband's a Capricorn, too. Yep, so right now that energy's in the fourth house when he gets snippy or just say, hey, call him that Aries full moon attitude, okay? Because <laughs> that's what my daughter said. Where's the moon today? Because you're acting strange. Yeah, okay, I'm a victim of the stars too. But Aquarius, um, you might get some not so happy news in the mail. Siblings will probably reach out to you for a shoulder to cry on. Um, if that happens, just be there to support them. Um, it will get better within the next two weeks. I want to reassure each and every one of you listening to me, it will get better. It will, I promise. It's just we're in a really, you know, Mercury's retrograde. Or not Mercury. Mercury's going retrograde. But we're, Mars is retrograde, and it's here for a long, long while. So Pisces. Now, Pisces... This is cruising your second house. This is the house of um, wealth, possessions, and finances. And financial issues are going to be, unfortunately, in the next two weeks, you're going to have to spend um, against your own will. You're not going to want to, but you're going to have to. Um, this might take a hit to your bank account or your self-esteem. But just please remember, like I just said a second ago, in two weeks, all of this will get better, okay? And I believe the next new moon is in, it's in beautiful Libra. Things will get better. We are going through a very stressful time right now, not just um, our country, but the world at large. And um, the next two weeks, you're going to see a lot of violence. It's going to be very volatile. Um... I actually have a newsletter sitting in my computer that I wrote about a month ago, and I just haven't had the guts to post it. And the reason being is because <laughs> when I look into the future and I see what's coming, I, I literally, I cry. Because <laughs> I don't know... There's some of you out there that just, you're not going to make it through this. I don't mean the people in this chat. Of course you will. You're cosmically conscious. But there are people out there that are not going to make it through these next three months. Um, October, November, December, and January, these four months coming are going to be horrible. Horrible. Um, I've held back on saying too much about things that are coming but um the day after the election the day of the election mercury in modern astrology mercury's retrograde and mercury goes supposedly goes direct but we know in ancient astrology it lasts for another five to seven days so we will not get results right away with the election it's going to take some time and when those results come in, it doesn't matter who's the winner. It won't matter if it's Trump as the winner or Biden as the winner. There's going to be a complete revolt. There's going to be a major upheaval. I'm not sitting here trying to scare you guys. I'm just literally, I've lost a lot of sleep in the last couple of weeks because I'm worried about how to explain it to the people who follow me, how to explain. I don't, I don't want to be a fear monger, but I also want to keep you guys safe. Um, it's not going to be a Merry Christmas. This is going to be a very, you know, there's not going to be that goodwill towards men and peace on earth. Okay. Um, unfortunately, that's not what's going to happen. We're going to be fighting with each other, um, not myself. You know, I've already told my kids, you know, you keep your political opinions to yourself and you will be able to get through this. Go out there and start protesting. I don't care if you're left or right. And you're going to pay the ultimate price, which is death. 
But I also see because of a civil war coming probably in the middle of November, as soon as we hear who's won the election. Now, I'll be honest with you, before Biden picked his running mate, Trump had it in the bag. He was going to win again. But then Biden decided to go and, and pick his running mate, Kamala Harris, who is operating on the same dragon energy as Trump. So what's interesting is I've talked to other astrologers from different paths, not just ancient astrologers. I've talked to modern astrologers. I've talked to Vedic astrologers. And they're all saying the same thing that I'm seeing. So I know I'm not wrong because I'm not the only star child. I There are millions of astrologers and millions of people that read the stars. So I know um, what I'm seeing is, is right because they're seeing a lot of it too. Um, back to the election. After the election, I think around November... Let me go to my moon book a minute. November 10th or the, or the 15th, I'm giving a five-day window. 10th, 11th, 12th, 13th, 14th, maybe 15th, six-day window. That's when you'll see an announcement for who the winner is, and then all hell is going to break loose after that. This would be a good time, because if we do go into a civil war, I'm not trying to fear-monger anyone, but you want to be smart about things, and you want to live another day, right? Stock up. Stock up on food, um, stock up on, on water, stock up on toiletries. The less going out you have to do after the election, the better. Um, stock up on am ammunition if you need to. Not everyone's a gun person, I get that. I'm in Arizona, and I can walk right into a supermarket with a gun. Don't steal my bacon. <laughs> I'm kidding. <laughs> That's just how it is here in Arizona. It's very different than California, but um, we are getting ready to come into some very hard times as a country, and it makes perfect sense. The dragon's energy is sitting on the United States' sixth house in Sagittarius. This is the house of health and service to the world. This is an unhealthy nation. We are a unhealthy, divided nation, and when a nation is divided... We become incredibly vulnerable to our adversaries and our um, enemies as well, like China, um, North Korea, and Russia. Um, Russia's not our friends, no matter what POTUS says. Uh, we are a laughing stock right now around the world. And I say that with a lot of sadness, okay? Um, however, there's something very interesting I see coming and I, I wasn't going to get into this tonight with you guys and I might just come back on here another day when I can go on and talk about it with my newsletter, but after the election, civil war, and then whoever the president is, I don't see him being sworn in. I've ran... I ran the software over and over and over again, and I keep seeing the same, I keep getting the same answers. So I actually did go to other astrologers that are my friends that, like I said, I have a couple of friends. One is a Vedic astrologer. Um, one is a modern astrologer. And they both said they're seeing the same thing. So um, astrophils can't be wrong if we're all seeing kind of the same thing and we all practice a different modality or a different method of astrology. Um, I don't, you know, after watching the other last night's debate or the night before, that was like watching grumpier old men. I had to get up and leave. I'm like, I can't watch any more of this. This is just, just, it's just, have I, America, we have lost all civility in this country. There's no civility left. And it's just, 
Politics is such bullshit. Pardon my French. The two cancers that plague this world are politics and religion, and they will be the downfall of the United States of America. It's just very sad. Anyway, that is your two-week forecast. I will come back on here and explain a little more um, about what I see coming in the next four months, but please be prepared. Prepare yourself. Protect yourself. Stock up on things so that you can go. You don't have to go out as little as possible, especially coming November. I would say November, December, and January. October, um, October not quite as bad, but right after that election, all hell is getting ready to break loose. Um, be prepared for... Uh, Oh, I'll throw this out here. I've been waiting for this to happen. It, I predicted it four years ago, but I knew it wasn't going to come until uh, the dragon was, the, the tail was cruising in Sagittarius. But this dragon energy is cruising right on Donald Trump's seventh house. This is the house of marriage. This is the house of contracts and partnerships. Excuse me. Let me catch my breath. <coughs> Just a matter of time before Melania Trump files for divorce. That's coming. I hope, what I'm hoping is that is the tragedy. There's some sort of tragedy coming for Donald Trump in December. I don't know what it is. I'm hoping it's just the divorce because there is life after divorce. <laughs> and that's not really a tragedy for me. But what I'm saying is I'm seeing a tragedy coming in his life in December that's going to affect some the outcome of this election. And it has to do with a female member of his family. So that's either his wife, that could be his daughter, or one of his daughters. Um, who knows? But when it happens, you'll think of me. Come watch the news in December. And it's going to be one of Donald Trump's worst months. Whether he wins the election or not, it's going to be a very bad month. No bueno for Donnie come December. And that's not something I'm rooting for, but after watching the debate the other day, um, when you, I can't stand neither one. I hate both of them. I won't want to vote for neither one. I cannot vote for two geriatric, senile, crazy in the head people. Okay, that neither one is going to serve this country. I really do think it might be Harris that gets in. The future's female, people. It's coming. And December 17th, Saturn moves right on into Aquarius, and then all kinds of chaos begins. Um, so be prepared. It's not going to be pretty. Um, if you are a Trump supporter, then I suggest you say some prayers for him. Some of you out there believe in the power of prayer, so you better get on your knees and pray for him. Some of you may rejoice in happiness over his misery that's coming. But one thing I have an issue with with him, you could, I, you, I know Joe Biden is got issues. I mean, he has some like, dementia problems, and I'm not saying that to insult my liberal friends. I had a father who had Alzheimer's disease, and he has that look in his eye. It's like, it's not funny, and it's not dementia per se. I, I don't know. He just has this look in his eyes where it's like my dad had this look when he was first diagnosed. It's like a deer in headlights. There's like, I can't explain it. Even my own mother said it the other night. She goes, something is seriously wrong with him. She goes, even my own mother said she goes, Trump handed him his ass that night. Yeah, yeah, Mom, he did. I knew he would. Trump was operating on his lucky day the night of that debate. Now, when next week, what is it, October 7th, when Harris and, and Pence have a debate? Now, Kamala Harris, Kamala Harris is operating on her lucky day. She's going to hand P 
Pence his ass, too. Stock up on beer. That's right. Stock up on wine. Stock up on beer. <laughs> That's right. <laughs> you got the right idea, Sammy. Uh-oh. Power outage. The light just went out. Okay. So we're now in the dark. Sorry, guys. Um, anyway, that... I'm live. Hold on. I'm almost done bitching about this. You turned it off. He turned it back on. Thank you. Where was I? What was I talking about? Donald Trump, Harris, Pence. Harris is operating on her lucky dragon day come October 7th, so she'll probably clean the floor with Pence. Um... I think that's all I have to say right now. I, like I said, I wrote a whole news article on this, a whole thing, five, six paragraphs. But I haven't set up any of my computers, so I can't get into them. This is just like on the top of my head what I can remember. Um, this is what I wanted to say. One of the things I was really annoyed with last night during this debate was I don't care how much Trump hates Biden or Biden hates Trump. You never disrespect a fallen soldier. You never disrespect someone who served in the military like Trump has done with Biden's son, Bo, who's, who died. He didn't die in the military, but he served in Afghanistan and he died of a disease a couple of years ago. Um, you have to realize that Biden is a Scorpio and... From looking at his stars, uh, there's, how do I explain this? He lost his first wife. He has a dragon's tail, if I'm correct, cruising his fifth house. This is the house of love, romance, children. Chances of him losing something like that in a tragic way is very common. Um, not necessarily just for Scorpios, but for people who have that placement in their chart. Um, but to sit there, for Trump to sit there and disgrace a fallen soldier is very disrespectful. But Trump's never served. He's President Bonespur. He's a draft dodger. So he would never understand the life of a military wife or the life of a veteran or the life of a soldier. And if it's one thing that's near and dear to my heart, I always defend and protect and stand up for the military. Come from a long line of them. I should have joined the military, but I don't like to get orders given to me. So, because <laughs> I'm a stubborn old goat. <laughs> but, um, yeah, I found that incredibly disrespectful. But someone who's never served, someone who's um, never, you know, gone off to war would never understand it. So until you've walked a day in someone else's shoes, you shouldn't do things like that and say things like that because come December, karma's coming for Trump. The karma train is coming. So whether you love him or you hate him, if you love him, you better pray for him. Um, if you hate him, get out your popcorn come December. It's going to be very entertaining if you don't like him. Um, that's about it for now. Um, I'll try and get back on here. I should have done a 10-day forecast, but I just simply do not have time. Um, if you could see above me, look at all those boxes. I've got crap. I mean, there's just crap everywhere in this house. It's going to take me days. I, got, I have to put doors on. I'm, I'm Bob the Builder for the next week and a half. <laughs> But anyway, all of you out there, thank you for tuning in. And I'm sorry about my bitching and moaning this morning. It's just, you know, you know that saying when you get an email or someone says something to you, it can trigger you and just throw you in a completely bad mood. And um, it just, it, it's not nobody in this chat. It, it's just some people that have always been rather difficult and, um, just expecting something all the time and everyone's life changes and my life is changing drastically moving out of state it's you know this is a transition and a transformation 
Um, I haven't even been DJing. I've been off air for several months now. Um, so even my, you know, in the metal world, I'm telling them that I will return probably next Saturday. But you know what's funny is people in the metal world are a little more understanding about it than the people who follow me in the esoteric realm. Um, okay, whatever. Life happens. Um, I'm not at my computer chained every day, day in and day out. So um, life happens. And I sometimes I can't get to a full moon forecast um, in, in the appropriate manner of typing it up and going on YouTube. So, but I did decide to bring you on live on Facebook and do this because um, the ones that do follow me and correspond with me, you're the ones I care about. I believe in quality over quantity. I don't care if I have 10 followers or 500 followers. It's the quality of those followers that matters, not the quantity. I could care less about quantity. doesn't hurt my feelings when someone unfollows me. Just me here. Oh, I almost said a bad word. You're a little weak and you can't handle the truth. I almost said the P word. <laughs> Okay, go on, Mr. Garcia. You can you speak for me. <laughs> um, I think that's about it. You guys have a great evening. It is almost TGIF, babies. Friday is tomorrow. So enjoy your Thursday night. And I will try and get back on here in the next few days. And um, we'll talk soon. Be safe out there. And blessed be. Ciao, Bella.